They did it knowingly, uh, and they did it uh, against uh, all policies and all norms that are acceptable and reasonable in this society. Uh, and again, in this society, that's what we call murder. Tonight, the investigation into Mario Gonzalez's death in Alameda County is expanding. Some people are just outraged, saying police used excessive force. But now the attorney representing the officers is telling their story. Thank you for joining us on Crown 4 News at 5, everybody. I'm Grant Lotus. And I'm Justine Waldman. And for Vicki tonight, 26-year-old Mario Gonzalez was killed after an encounter with police in Alameda last week. He was pinned face down on the ground for more than five minutes and then he stopped breathing. There are now five separate investigations into what happened. Mario Gonzalez's family has hired an attorney to investigate. The attorney representing the three officers who were involved, also now investigating. The city of Alameda has hired an outside agency to investigate. And the Alameda County District Attorney's Office, as well as the Alameda Sheriff's Office, have each launched separate investigations. We also now know the names of the three officers involved. Eric McKinley, who's been on the force there for three years. Cameron Leahy, who's also been on the force for three years. And James Fisher, who has been an officer there for 10 years. All these officers involved are currently on paid leave. And we also now know the toxicology report will take at least two more months, so it may be some time before we know the exact cause of death. The attorney representing the officer says they used proper de-escalation tactics. We'll hear more from them tonight during Cron News in primetime starting at 8. But right now, Cron Forest Luke Jagal talked to a criminal defense attorney today who says that the video shows the officers used excessive force. South Bay criminal defense attorney Cody Salfin of the Salfin Law Firm says the Alameda Police Department's description of 26-year-old Mario Gonzalez's in-custody death as a medical emergency may be true, but Salfin says the emergency was caused by the officers involved, who he says used excessive, unreasonable, and unnecessary force. We have two or more calls for service. We have citizens calling in. Uh, more as a matter of concern for the individual than a matter of uh, public safety risk. Hey, bud. How's it going? Salfin says Eric Somebody McKinley, the first okay. officer Somebody to arrive at the park or, on Oak Street the morning of so April great. 19th, initially showed restraint but eventually lost patience with Gonzalez, who 911 callers reported was likely unarmed, though he appeared intoxicated and may have just committed a theft. These officers, uh, the most powerful tool that they have in their possession or, or at their uh, will is their ability to talk someone down, to verbally de-escalate a situation. Uh, and these officers very quickly escalated to the physical use of force, which was absolutely unnecessary. They had time, they had distance, they had the benefit of not being in a crowded area where there's there would be a public safety risk, perhaps, if people were close. Uh, they could see uh, Mr. Gonzalez, they could see that he didn't have a weapon. Uh, and all they needed to do was was to give it time and to talk Mr. Gonzalez down or try to figure out what was going on. Salfin has successfully settled federal civil rights cases of police misconduct, most recently with the city of Palo Alto and its police department. At least one officer in that case has been criminally charged. Salfin believes the officers in Mario Gonzalez's case should be prosecuted as well. But for the police actually coming to the scene, uh, Mr. Gonzalez probably would uh, have just gone on his way, and he absolutely would have been alive still today. Uh, and that's a pretty good uh, indication that, that the police used excessive and, and unreasonable and unnecessary force uh, when, but for their actions, someone would still be living uh, and no, no one from the general public would have been injured. For now, the three officers involved are on paid administrative leave while multiple investigations into Gonzalez's death are conducted. Philippe Jagal, Cron 4 News.